Democratic candidate. I want to thank you all for inviting me to this event. I look forward to it. Uh, I'm a pro-life Catholic, so I have my foot in both ends of the uh, political spectrum. And uh, in law school, I served as the senior editor for the Texas Review of Law and Politics, which is a conservative law journal. And so I respect the uh, conservative voice, and I think you have something to contribute. And uh, obviously, there'll be things we don't agree on that I'm sure we'll get to during the debate. But I grew up in Plano. I went to Plano Public Schools, and public education is something I feel passionate about. And I decided to run because of the budget cuts to public education in the last session. They cut $5.4 billion out of the education budget, and it resulted in cuts at the local level that cut back on some of the programs that benefited me growing up. I don't think that's right. I think the next generation deserves an education at least as good, if not better, than what I had. So I want to go down to Austin and fight for public education. Uh, another thing that I think distinguishes me between both candidates up here is that I think everybody agrees the federal government is out of control. But I question the premise that the way you convince people to decentralize government is by making your state government weaker. You need to have a, a functioning state government that meets the needs of the people, that builds the roads, that takes care of the schools, that solves the water problems. If you want to take power away from Washington, you've got to do it right at the state level. And we're not. So you're not going to be able to make your case for local control if you're not doing local government well. 